Welcome along to our video tutorial series where we are learning how to create Minecraft worlds using Python code. In today's lesson, we're gonna be looking at building this basic tower. So if I go for a bit of a walk around here, you can see that it's fairly large in our world. If I go for a bit of a fly too, you can see up towards the top of it. Oh, there we go, got a good bit of lag on this Raspberry Pi. If we go at the top, you can see it looks a bit like a tower at the top. And if I zoom back, you get the idea. It's fairly basic for now. We are going to make a more complex tower in a future tutorial. But for this one, we're just going to keep it fairly simple. So to start with, I need you to jump over to your Python editor, which is Mu. And I want you to add in those first two lines of code that we always add in when we are creating uh, worlds in Minecraft. Remember, that's just importing all the functions from the Minecraft module, which will give us access to the code to build in our Minecraft world. And the second line of code there simply connects Mu and Minecraft up to one another. So we've got the two programs talking to each other. After that, we've got the couple of lines of code which will empty your world and give you a blank canvas to work with. Okay, so once you've got those in, you are ready to go. If I just quickly save that and give it a run, show you what that looks like. Uh, we need to go to new code. So we are calling this one number 11, basic tower. Quick save. All right, and if we give that a run, you'll see that this will disappear. And I'm left with my empty world. So if I go for a look around there, I've got my empty canvas ready to start building on. So let's get into it. First thing we're gonna do is we're going to set our building block. So you can choose whatever block you'd like to build your tower with. I'm just gonna keep it simple and use a stone, which is number one. So I'm just gonna make a variable here called stone and set it to number one. I'm then gonna set up my coordinates. So put in a comment that says set up coordinates. <coughs> my starting coordinates are gonna be smack bang in the middle of the Minecraft world. So my X Coordinate will be equal to zero, my Y coordinate will be equal to zero, and my Z coordinate will be equal to zero as well. Should be getting fairly used to those coordinates as well by now. Um, so we're now ready to start building our tower. So the first thing that I wanna build is the base of the tower. So it's gonna be a matter of writing mc.setblocks, because remember we're building multiple blocks here. And it's gonna be x comma y comma z so we're starting at zero 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 for the start of this tower and we're going to finish at x plus four y plus 16 so we're going 16 blocks into the air and we're going to do z plus four as well so the base of that tower is a square that is four by four and the height of the tower is 16. Remember, the final thing you need to write in these round brackets is the block you're using to build with, which is gonna be stone today. And that's all you need to build the base of the tower. I might put a comment in there that says base. And if we just give that a run, I might have to turn around here if it doesn't appear. Let's have a look, there it is. We've got the base of our tower in already. That's a good chunk of it. So you can see each side is four blocks across. That's the X and the Z axis in play there. And if we look up, it's 16 blocks high. So that's the Y axis coming into play there. So we've got the base of our tower working there. If I just go for a quick fly, you'll see there's nothing on top of it at the moment. It's just a four by four block that is 16 blocks high in the air. All right, so we'll sit here in the air for a while while we draw the next section, which is gonna be the middle section three sections to this tower, so we'll draw the midsection next. So we'll put in a comment that says midsection. And we'll do the same again, mc.setblocks, because we're gonna be building multiple blocks here. Now it's gonna start from ground level, but it's gonna be inside of the, um, the base block. So we're not actually gonna see a good chunk of this, but what it's gonna do is go higher than this base block. So it's gonna come out through the middle and draw this midsection. You'll see what I mean once we've drawn it. So let's start by writing x plus one for our starting x-axis, 
Y is going to stay the same at ground level. And then Z plus 1. Finishing position would be X oops, plus 3. Y plus 19. So you can see here that we're going 3 blocks higher than our base. And Z is going to finish at plus 3. We are using stone again for this section, so let's just give that a run, see what happens. Here we go, so you can see the updated version of this tower has the midsection popping up through the middle there. I think if we were to change the Y value here, we don't have to have it starting at ground level, we could change that to Y plus 16 and give that a run, and I think we'll get the same result. We do. Okay, so it's up to you what you're right there. I'm just going to leave it at Y because it's nice and simple. That way that block there builds all the way through the tower. But if you don't want to build all the way through the tower, you could have Y plus 16 there. A little bit confusing, I know. So just copy what I'm doing. Probably talking too much here. You don't need to know all this stuff. And the last bit is that little spike on top of the tower that I want to add in. So that's called a spire, I think. So... We'll put in a comment that says spire and just write it up the same way. So mc.setblocks. Um, this time we're going to start at x plus 2. We're going to start at ground level again, so just write in y. You could start at y plus 19 if you wanted to just start building it from the top. Uh, we might as well just keep it simple. Build from the ground up. So it'll be x plus 2, y, and then z plus 2. We'll finish up here at x plus 2 again, y plus 21. So we're now going 21 blocks high, so a little bit higher than both the base and the midsection. And the z is going to be z plus 2 as well. Finish off by writing stone and then closing your brackets, and you should be done. So we'll give that a run. You should see a little spire pop out the top of the building like so. And that's it. You've got your basic tower drawn. It's fairly straightforward. Uh, so save that up. And in the next video, I'll show you how you can actually make your towers look a little bit more complex by adding some windows and a bit more color to your tower. So I'll see you then.